All right, troops, it's your man Chris Scullin here from Tyrol Hack. I'm going to show you my Super Mario Odyssey gameplay. Uh, I was at Nintendo's UK headquarters last week and managed to play this for about 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, but I'm only allowed to show 10 minutes at most of overall footage, so here's the kind of best of bit uh, of, of the kind of best bits that I took. So this is the Metro City, uh, Metro Kingdom, sorry. Um, one of the sections of which is New Donk City, which you'll have seen in the original trailer. And um, one of the best bits is hitting people in the arse with your hat, like so, and like so. Uh, that's a, a lovely little trick that you can you can do. Now the mayor here is Mayor Pauline. We're about to meet her in a second. That's the uh, the lady who was originally in Donkey Kong. So that's a lovely wee trick. There's a cool wee move here. If you flick, yeah, you can do that. If you flick both the Joy Cons to the side, you can do a little kind of spin attack. People get a bit concerned when you talk about motion controls, but it actually works really well in this, so uh, don't be too annoyed. You can obviously play with the Pro Controller if you'd rather. There's more arse slapping with the, with the hat. It's a simple pleasure in life, but it's just an important thing. Scalp. Scalp. Um, hours of fun. Uh, you can also kind of possess this telescope thing, so you can uh, kind of see in, a, in advance where, you, where you're going to go and what you're going to do. So it's very lovely stuff. Um, I'm also a big fan of running about and jumping on taxis, that's, that's always a bonus. And you've got your kind of classic Mario moves like the long jump and you can do the triple jump and stuff like that. And there's also a roll move which I'll show you in more detail later on. Now here's Pauline, like I say she used to be in Donkey Kong, she was the kind of damsel in distress back in the day. But she's obviously, she's done well for herself, um, she's now the, the mayor of New Donk City and one of the missions here she's wanting Mario to uh, round up four musicians uh, to join the band and each time you find one they give you like a moon uh, which are needed to power up your ship so you can fly about. And I love this wee moped thing you can drive about on. Um, it's pretty unnecessary, you don't really need it but it makes really cool use of the HD rumble on the uh, on the Joy-Cons that you really feel like, especially when you turn um, or when you start like there from a, from a stop from a static position when you accelerate you really feel it, it's pretty cool. Now here's a crazy cap hat shop where you can, it's not really a hat shop, it's an outfit shop where you can buy costumes and the greatest costume of all time is here. Um, it's like a suit, it basically turns Mario into a mafia gangster. Um, given his Italian heritage it's, it's only a matter of time before Mario became uh, the mafioso, so here we go, Sup Super Mafia Brothers. Um, and it's lovely and I mean as soon as he Wearing it doesn't necessarily stop you from uh, doing anything else that you can do as normal Mario and that includes, of course, smacking people in the arse with your hat. Uh, so, even though he now looks like a dapper chap, um, scalp. So, there you go. That's the important thing. Now, you can run about like a tearaway and kick fuck out of bins, but you can also uh, use these electric currents to kind of make your way up big buildings. Um, this one has like a, a hidden, not hidden, but an, an entrance here where you can kind of scale the tower from the inside. And this this bit is more like kind of standard classic uh, Mario platforming, uh, which is good. So if you're concerned that it's mostly open world stuff and no kind of old school Mario platforming, there, there are elements like that, so don't worry. There's a lot of these posters dotted about with Peach and Bowser getting married and you can fuck them all up. I don't know what the point is to them yet, I don't know if, if, if there's a reason for you, maybe there's one of the missions is taking down all the posters. That's just purely speculation on my part. Um, it's not yet clear what the point is of taking those posters down, I just know that you can. Uh, these mosquito things took me by surprise originally, but there you go. So eventually once you get out of this building, uh, you can get up to the very top. Um, and it's just another wee climbing session to get up there. Uh, you can use the corner of these buildings to, to kind of slowly get up. And while you're climbing, it gets to the bit here where you're, where you're climbing as if it was a um, here. Um, when you're climbing there, you can shake the Joy-Con and climb quicker, like so. And that gets you to the top. And there we go, a wee moon. Another wee moon right at the top. And this bit from here gives you an example of the scale of the, the level. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a nice... It's not an enormous open world, but it's big enough to make things interesting. Um, and that swimming pool over there, you bet your fucking balls you can reach it from there with a jump. I bottled it trying to do it there, but I can do it from down here a bit. Get a wee cheeky long jump going. Go for it, son. Wahoo, I believe is the phrase. And there we go. So that's the Metro Kingdom. There's also the Sand Kingdom. Um, 
which takes place here um, in Tostarina town. It's a kind of Mexican theme, uh, but it's been plagued by ice. Now there's another crazy capstone here, and there's two guys here, and there's this, there's one guy here who sells you the kind of Mexican stuff, as you'd imagine. But more importantly, there's a second guy who sells you, you guessed it, fucking gangster suit. So once again, gangster Mario in the desert, wrecking the joint, causing all all manner of misdemeanors. Um, just just the way to go, really. Um, so yeah, hopefully. I mean, it seems almost certain that this means you can go around any of the f final games kind of areas with full regalia. Uh, so that's quite good. Another nice wee touch I like here is when you do a roll um, in the sand for long enough, your outfit gets dirty. It gets all sandy and dusty, so you'll see here. See his hat's all kind of dusty. That doesn't last for a while, it kind of only lasts a few seconds and it goes back to its normal hue, so don't worry about that. All good. See, he's pretty much back there. Um, there's also a kind of... Uh, quick travel thing so at any point you can press uh, the minus button I believe and that brings up this is it's like a travel brochure so the, the, obviously the whole kind of theme here is that you're traveling about is a, it's a tra travel is a theme but yeah you can bring up a brochure whenever you want and t teleport to any of the checkpoint flags you've already triggered which is a, a nice wee touch um, let's see what's going on here. This is using this kind of this, this fancy attack again and this is possessing enemies so you can possess this bullet bill and fly about like a like anybody's business. And we fly, let him do that lovely wee spin jump that you sometimes get in Mario games, which is awesome. Uh, this is a cool bit you might have seen in, before in, in trailers and stuff where you can go in you know, a kind of 2D Mario situation. Um, a very nice touch, if I do say so myself. Um, it, it works as normal as normal Mario games do. The physics feel pretty, pretty spot on. Uh, there's a sprint button in, in these sections where you can run faster, so it's all standard and the whole point is to get up to the top. Now you can do it like that or I found out you can kind of do a wee bit of a trick by diving on your hat and then jumping off it and skipping that whole bit entirely. So speedrunners take note. Um, that's a trick, that's a kind of skill you're going to have to learn um, if you're going to want to shave seconds. And just in case you're curious, um, yes when you're wearing a, a, a different outfit um, and you go through one of those things that he keeps the outfit when he goes to a D. That's a very nice touch. Lovely stuff. So yeah, um, I really enjoy it. Some of the elements like the the electricity element like that still stays in, from level to level, so although that was mainly in New Donk City, it's also here as well. Um, but overall I'm just like in love with this game. I put like 30 or 40 minutes into it, into the demos and still I was nowhere near seeing um, all it had to offer. There's so many alternative routes and stuff to take. Uh, for example, one of the demos I found this section, which I didn't find in, 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 in one of my other playthroughs. It's a cool kind of area where you, you throw your hat on these kind of blue things. They're almost like fan belts. So when you throw the hat in, it speeds it up um, and directs it towards these kind of things that trigger explosions. Um, it's a nice wee touch, especially when you drop down to the second level. Um, the explosions trigger other explosions, so when I hit this, uh, boomf, that triggers an explosion, but then it hits the other one above it, and that triggers another explosion, um, which then hits the next one, so it basically makes a big kind of chain reaction of explosions, which is a nice wee, nice wee touch, I mean that, that could be done in any other way without necessarily using that gimmick. Um, Nintendo could have easily just had those moving platforms with explosions, but it's nice. It's nice just to see wee touches like that that make everything feel all kind of uh, connected. Now there's these odd kind of Easter Island type statues with sunglasses. This is the last thing I'll show you, um, and they can put on sunglasses and take them off. And when they put them on, invisible platforms appear, like so. Oop. Now that lets you see where you can walk to find hidden things. Now when you put the shades on they walk really slowly but when you take them off they walk quickly. Um, so you can still walk over bits as long as you've kind of uncovered them already with the shades which is a cool and nice wee touch I think. It just gives you another example of how um, detailed the, uh, the, the, the all the possibilities basically that, that are there for possessing people. But sadly that was it, this is when my last demo ended, uh, just as I crossed here, but yeah, so that's Super Mario Odyssey, I'm loving it. Please do like and subscribe and go to tyroldhack.com for all the goodness, um, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for watching my video and all that shit, Mario says. Cheers, bye.